It has been eight months since I did my last empties video. So I'm just gonna go through all the products that I used in my skincare, hair care, makeup, and yeah, pretty much that. So let's go in order of how I do my skin, and that's of course getting all my makeup off. I used the Neutrogena Cleansing Balm. I used this all the way through, and I hated every minute of it. I just did not enjoy this. The smell is so, I don't know, it's off-putting. I don't think it's actually an added smell. I think it's unscented, but it's just gross smelling. Oh, I hated smelling it. I do actually think this worked well. I just didn't like the feeling of my skin after I used it. Now I do go in with the double cleanse, so that does take it off. I, a lot of it was the smell. I just really could not handle it. I will not be repurchasing this. Now I do have two of my favorite ones. This is from the Vanilla Company. It's called Clean It Zero. Now I have this in the original scent and I buy this mainly because it comes in the larger size. This is the only one that comes in this size. At least right now, I will check it. Maybe it's changed since I last bought these. I don't know why they don't make all of them larger. I don't know. But this is one that I love it. The smell is definitely there. I don't mind it at all, but it dissipates. I mean, you're gonna be washing your face again, at least I do. So I don't really care about the scent on this one, but it's way better than the Neutrogena one. Definitely a repurchased one. I already have it in my stash over there. Now, after I have taken all my makeup off, which is the cleansing balm, I haven't actually washed my face. So I want to go in and actually wash and make sure it's all very clean. And that I use the La Roche-Posay. This is the Tolerane or Tolerane, I'm not sure how you say that hydrating gentle cleanser and i actually have two of these now i have already repurchased this it's already in my stash back there and i will always be repurchasing this some of this stuff is so gross clearly one of my products i think it was my tanner um leaked in the bin so some of these are pretty disgusting this is another cleanser. This is from e.l.f. It is the Gentle Peeling Exfoliant. This is something I use in two different ways. Number one, I use it every time I shave my face or, you know, microplane my, my face. I use this immediately after to just get the extra skin that the blade didn't get off and it just cleans it perfectly. I love it for that and then you go in with your regular skincare well you go in with a moisturizer but I also use this sometimes when my skin just feels a little dull or it, I've got some patches of dryness this is wonderful and I will say that the the nozzle on this has been just atrocious atrocious I mean elf needed to fix this a long time ago. It got clogged. I'd have to unscrew this to be able to use it. Now, I think they have fixed it, although it's funny. It looks the same, but this one hasn't clogged yet. So obviously I've purchased a new one. Let me see if I will get it to work. I have lotion on my hand, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get it to do its thing. You put it on completely dry. If you guys can see the little bee, like extra things that's dead skin that it peels off as you rub it the more dead skin you have the more that's going to happen and that i do all over my face it it works like a charm when i am done with that i just wash my face with water afterwards and then i go in with regular skincare and everything feels squeaky clean i do not overuse this i only do that like I said, after I've shaved or when I just need it a little bit more, I feel a little bit dull, it works wonderful and it's so inexpensive. Okay, my hair is driving me nuts because it's going into my eye and that drives me nuts. Put my hair back with my glasses. Oh, I can see. Okay. Now, more skincare, obviously. Um, you guys know my love of agency skincare. Yes, they have sponsored me many videos. This is not sponsored. I just used up products. First is the Future Formula. I have probably had more of these, but I don't keep, I didn't keep them all. This is what I do at night after I've cleansed my face. Everything's all nice and clean. This has tretinoin, azelaic acid, trend, trends, Tranazamic <laughs> acid, 
and niacinamide. And this is one of those anti-aging powerhouses. And I'm not gonna go into huge detail because again, this is not a sponsored video, but it is my name on it. It is a prescription strength for me. Then I also use their dark spot remover. This does what it says it does. It helps diminish the dark spots, remove some of them all throughout your face. It's wonderful. So I have two of these for each. I actually think I would have had at least two more. I think I threw those away. Okay, I used up a Timeless Skin Care. This one is the 10% Vitamin C. This has ferulic acid and vitamin E. This I really like. I have gone to the stronger one. This is my new one. This has got a lot of product in it. This has 20% of vitamin C, which is really the amount you should be using. But some people struggle with vitamin C. It's a little too, you're too sensitive for it. And so they made a 10%. And I tried that, I it worked okay. My skin does way better with the 20%. So maybe try, uh, try the 10% to begin with and maybe upgrade to the 20% when you feel like your skin can handle it. What this does is it brightens my skin and I really do see a difference when I use this regularly. And this goes on only in the morning. Okay, I had used these before. This is from La Roche-Posay. This is their Tolerane Ultra. I can't read that. Oh, my glasses are on my head. Soothing Repair Moisturizer. And I had used these before and I liked them for some reason this time i did not for some reason i felt like it went away faster like i used it up faster i'm not sure why about that i i just felt like they weren't anything different than the other one i'm about to show you and i didn't think it worked any better and these were not cheap and it's a duo there's one you use during the day and one you use at night to me i didn't feel like this made enough difference to warrant the cost so I will not be buying these again. Okay, I have four <laughs> Eucerin Urea Repair. These are my go-to moisturizers. So Urea is one of those products that are amazing for really dry skin. And as you can see, I use them a lot. This has made a big difference in the moisture level of my skin and being able to last longer throughout the day, so not getting dry as the day goes by. Now I did, and I've said this in another video, but it's part of this and it's also a disgusting bottle. I did by mistake buy the one that says very dry skin. So these all say dry skin, but this one here says very dry skin. And I did not like this one. This one was way too thick. Like it was just, and it's also just disgusting, this bottle. It was way too thick for my skin. I, it literally, to try to get it onto my skin, it felt like it was pulling my skin. It's that thick. So I de definitely will not buy this one again, but the dry skin one is just amazing. I, I of course, have already purchased this. I'm, in fact, I probably have one in there and one in my extras bin because I love this product. Of course, I have some SPFs. I use the CeraVe Ultra Light Moisturizing Lotion 30. This is my go-to. I use it all the time. You know, it's funny. I read this just the other day and it says it's for normal to oily skin. I guess because it's not an extremely moisturizing one, but I also don't think it's drying. So I, I don't have a problem with it, but I just thought it was interesting that me, the dry skin girl, is using one that's not made for dry skin. But I really do like this one. I wish it was 50 or more, but I do love it, and I, will, I have already repurchased it. I used up the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer. This is Broad Spectrum SPF 60 Plus, and I really do like this a lot. I've had trouble finding it, since I bought it. So I'm not sure, like in stores, obviously I'm sure I can order it, but I like to not order it if I can. I love to be able to just buy it in a store when I'm there, but I have had, I've had a really hard time finding it. So I'm hoping there's not a problem with it, but it could just be my stores near me, but this is definitely one I would repurchase easily. I will say that when I first bought it, I thought, oh, it's so, it's so expensive because it's so much smaller than this one, but they actually are 
about the same amount, one point, oh no, they're exactly the same amount, 1.7 fluid ounces. So they're about the same price depending on where you buy it, of course. Okay, I used up a Jergens Natural Glow and a Jergens Natural Glow Wet Skin. These are my go-to body tanners, self tanners. <laughs> they're both medium to deep. This one that you use on dry skin and it gradually deepens in your color. I love this. I will say I don't necessarily like the smell of it. It's not horrible and it's definitely one of the better ones. It's such a distinct smell. I literally have smelled it on other people like out in the public and gone, oh, they use Jergens. Maybe just because I know the scent, but it bugs me that someone's thinking that about me. I don't, why does that bother, matter? I, I don't know. But anyways, this is the one that I put on when I've just gotten out of the shower. This by far does not get you as tan as this one does. It just doesn't. But this is really good in between. So what we have just gotten out of the shower, I put it on and then I try to just pat dry instead of rubbing so much but this really does kind of extend the life of this. So I use them together and I think they work really well still. For my face, I actually use Tanologist. This is just the tan drops. I put this in with my moisturizer, so I'll do my skincare like normal, and then I'll use that Ure Urea Repair from Neutrogen, no, Eucerin, Urea Repair. I'll put a probably a half dropper full and it will do my entire face and I always go down my neck, décolleté, 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 I don't know, décolleté, one of those. And I always make sure I get behind my neck and my ears and all of that. And then I wake up with a beautiful self tanned face. I love it. I consider this one of my skincare. Because of this, I feel like I have that tanned look. I don't feel pasty in the winter. It just is one of my favorite things. And medium is perfect for me, but if you have really fair skin, they definitely have a light version. Or if you have darker skin, they have a dark version. My daughter uses the dark. She's not darker than me, but she just loves to be really dark. So this is how she gets that, and this has worked for years for me. But I have two of the Grande Brows. I have used this for years. I swear by it. I think it works amazing for keeping my brows fuller, and it filled them in more. I used the lash one too, and I think I threw it away by mistake. But I definitely used the lash one. They work great for me. I used a Carousel Intensive Foot Repair. This is my go-to product that I use all year around. When I get out of the shower, I take this, it's like a little gel, I put probably a pea size on my heel and my big toe, you know, calluses, where all the calluses grow. And I rub that in and then I put a sock over it and I never have thick calloused skin on my feet because this continually exfoliates all that stuff off. Like I used to get cracked feet to the point that it would bleed. It was so bad. This is amazing at keeping your feet soft and less, way less calluses and it's wonderful. So I will always repurchase this. Okay, let's talk hair and then I do have some makeup that I have used up. All right, I used two Amica Perk Up Dry Shampoos. I really do like these. I don't like the cost of them and I definitely bought this large one on sale. That's the only time I will buy it. It's expensive. I like the Oribe way better, but that's even way more expensive and I'm just not willing to pay that price. I do like this. It is a strong smell, but it is a pleasant smell. I, I love them. I wish they weren't so expensive. Still trying to find a drugstore one that I like as much as this, or the Oribe one. I also used a Living Proof Perfect Hair Day dry shampoo. I honestly don't like this one so much. I don't know why. I like the Amica way better than the, than the or no, Living Proof one. Oh, I, I did two. What's the difference between these? 
advanced clean dry shampoo and dry shampoo okay this is the newer one i think this one does work better than this one but i still like the amica better okay i used up an ava ava nyc main magic this is the 10 in 1 primer this is strength it strengthens heat protects reduces frizz I swear by this stuff, I love this for my hair. This goes on my hair immediately after I've washed it and before I've done any drying or anything like that. This goes on, I try to concentrate it from like here down and try not to get it on my roots, but this is amazing and I already have purchased another one. Okay, I will tell you that I know I've used more shampoos than I'm about to show you. <laughs> I think that what happens is people in my family use it and they throw it away. And then I'm like, wait a minute, I wanted that bottle. So I'm sure I've used more than this, just this one bottle in the past eight months. But the only one I have here is this is from Matrix. It's called High Amplify Total Results. And I really did like this shampoo. Now this is pricey. And I will tell you, because my daughter is an esthetician, she is allowed to go into places where, like she is allowed to go to stores. I forgot the name of them. They have a couple stores around here that you have to have a, like an esthetician's license, a beautician's license, something like that in order to shop there. She is able to do that and get things at substantially lower prices. And that's where I got this. So I don't know how much this is normal, but I didn't pay anywhere near that. I did like this a lot and I would repurchase this. All right, you guys know my love of Thank Me Later eye primer. I finally used up a tube. I've used this thing for I don't even know how long and I, I think there's still some in here but I can't squeeze it out so I'm like, all right, I could cut it but I just bought a new one. This is my absolute favorite eye primer. I love this eye primer. I think this makes the difference of my mascara, even waterproof, will smudge on my eyes because my eyes are hooded. So my lashes hit my, my lids constantly. This stopped it. It's amazing. I used up a, a Lash Princess waterproof. I love this. Is probably, is it gonna, it's not gonna, okay, it's not going to. This is my favorite mascara of all time. I think one of the different reasons I like it is the is the brush is because it's so thin it's so easy for me to get into different areas of my eyes and it just works wonderful when this is starting to dry up it does flake so which a lot of mascaras do but this definitely does so i always know when it starts to flake it's time for a new one i also love this is one of my absolute favorites as well this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar X Fiber, and this is in waterproof as well. This is also an amazing mascara. Now this one actually has two sided. One is a primer and one is the actual mascara. And I think they work wonderful together. Love these. I will always repurchase these. I don't think I've purchased this one right now, but I do have another one of these. All right, two brow pencils. One is the e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. And I do like this. I don't think it's my favorite. Like, it's completely off. I can't even show you it. <laughs> it's not my favorite. I don't know if I'd be like, yes, I have to go get this one again. But I do think it's a good brow pencil. This one, on the other hand, this one is from Koki. And this is my favorite one. This is an amazing brow pencil and I was trying hard not to buy it because I have so many other brow pencils to use up. I finally caved and I went and bought another one. I just started using it again. I just love it. It works so well for me. I, maybe it's the color. I don't know. It just, it, you know how sometimes you're doing your brows and it does this ball thing. Like you'll, it'll just, instead of giving you a wash of color, or coloring in your brows, it literally balls into, does that make sense? It makes balls on your on your brow. And it. I think what it does is it just picks up the, the brow stuff, the wax, whatever it is made of, and it does, I don't, I am not describing this well, but tell me if you know what I mean. 
This doesn't do that. This is an amazing brow pencil. I've already bought it again. I did use up an e.l.f. Wow Brow. This is kind of like mascara for your eyebrows. I do love this product. The only thing I wish it did was I wish it held up like it had more hold in my brows, but if all you wanna do is coloring your brows with a little bit of hold, that's what this does. And it does color it in the best, in my opinion. So a lot of times I'll just use this and then I'll use a clear gel afterwards. All right, I used up a Buxom, their plumping lip gloss. This is in the color Sugar. It is my favorite one. It just goes over everything. It does give a little bit of glimmer or shimmer on your lips, but not over the top. I think it's one of the best lip glosses out there. I already have another one and I've probably used half of it already. If you like reviews that are fast like this, like get it done kind of thing, I do have videos called speed reviews. It's not quite as fast as empties, but it is pretty fast. So I'm gonna link my latest one right here. I think you will enjoy that if you enjoyed this one. I'll see you maybe in that one or another one. God bless.